Good morning, ladies and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty Seven Eight Six Zero Nine Trike Man fixing to go triking on my Liberty Electric Trike Three Wheel Tricycle from LibertyTrikes.com or ElectricTrikes.com. Check them out. Use the code Rusty Fifty at checkout and get fifty bucks off. We're fixing to do everything you need to know about Valley of Fires Recreation Area near Carrizozo, New Mexico. It's a Bureau of Land Management thing, and it's right off Highway Three Eighty. We're about three miles. <clears throat> We're about three miles west of Carrizozo, New Mexico, on Highway 380. You turn left if you're going west, right into here. And now let's go do it. And I'm going to show you every site and everything you need to know. And one thing you need to know is on days when the wind is calm, they have gnats. Okay, because I got gnats. Okay, there's the sign right there. And if I can get the gnats out of my face, there we go. Now we're going. Okay, that says Valley of Fires Recreation Area Bureau of Land Management Roswell Office, and I still got one gnat hanging my eye. There, I got it. Anyway, notice entering U.S. fee area. We, now, you're going to come to a fork in the road right here. We'll hang to the right. You just go right on around here, and you get you some pay envelopes, and then go find you a site and pay. You know, a lot of people want to pay uh, before. They say they got a bookstore and all that stuff. All that's closed because of the stuff and uh, anyway right here Valley of the Fires okay uh, da, 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 fire restrictions and I'll, I'll put this up there and then you can pause the video read all the rates if you have a federal parks pass you get 50% off of those rates and so just remember that gold it says golden passport golden age golden etc half price off on all park fees but basically for me with water and electric it's nine dollars a night now we'll go to site number one which is right here and uh you know it's funny how the gnats will hang in your eyebrows but anyway let's go <laughs> this guy's aggressive so let's go anyway let's go here's the site number one this one has no hookups at all this is dry camping beautiful view out over the lava field there that's what this is all about there's a lava flow that happened here I don't know how many years ago, long time. And uh, this is site number two. And you can check all that out about the lava flow on the internet. And uh, this is site number two right here. Got water and electric. They're all, these are pull throughs. And then you go up here to site number three. It comes right off the road right here. You just pull right in like this. And th there's the water and electric, and of course there's the lava flow out there. So uh, th I think they have 30 and 50 amp. But again, we'll go down. And this is number. There's a restroom there, one of those beautiful things you love. And anyway, this is a water and electric site, but this is for handicapped. If all the sites are full, you can use the handicapped site. This right here is a scenic overlook, overlooking the lava flow, kind of a picnic area if you choose to use it. And that's also the entrance to the, the pathway that goes through the lava field. It's called the Malpais Nature Trail, but it just goes through that. And this over here is the office when it's open. It's not open now, visitor information bookstore, but unfortunately it is not open. And I got another gnat in my face. But anyway, this is site number five. Yeah, when the winds are calm, and usually they're not, this is the, I call it the wind tunnel. And this is site number five right here. Another pull through, and right over here, you see that white fence? It, that's a circular walkway down to the lava field, and you can walk down there and take that walk around the nature area down there, and it's pretty nice. But all the sites have a trash can, all the, and most of them have water and electric. And again, this is, a, this is another pull through here. This is site number six, a big old good pull through. And I got another gnat in my ear. And, you know, you'd think I'd be going fast enough where they, they wouldn't bother me. But anyway, there you go right there. And then this is site number seven. There's somebody in this site, but I'll just buzz by. They also got good taste because they have a casita. And this is site number eight. This is a back end, but it has water and electric. But directly across from it is the what? Restrooms and showers right there. They do have men, women restroom showers. Very handy. And again, this is site number eight. We'll just kind of pull, it's a back end, back end site, not bad. You can do this, guys. You can do it, you can do it. And see, you got your little deal there overlooking the lava flow. And it's a beautiful view. I'd say nearly every site here has a good view. It's just a matter of personal preference. I got some little trees here that have some little 
blooms on them. They're very fragrant too, by the way. Speed limit's 15 miles an hour. Right there where that guy is on that little four-wheel thing, that's the dump station to the left, and there's some big trash cans. And this is site number nine right here, right there. That's the camp host. He's been coming here for years. And that's back in also, lava field there. Again, here's the dump station right here. Go slowly. And you can check that out. And they got the tra some trash cans there, but they also have a trash can at every site. And this is site number what? I'm not sure. Site number 10 right here. Site number 10, water and electric. The guy's got, he's got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff. Anyway, here's site number 11, water and electric. And then we go up here to another handicap. We're going up the hill a little bit, as you can see. And over there, that white thing on the horizon is my casita. But anyway, this is site number 12, water and electric. Good view, good view. And then this is site number 13. Site number 13 is kind of awkward because there's the hookups right here. And then there's your thing down there. So, you know, you, I don't know how you, anyway, you got to park your RV however you can to reach those hookups. And then we go around this loop here and you come to site number 14. See site number 14 right there? Water and electric. And again, these, you can use these for tent sites too. You don't have to have an RV. You can, if you want to pay the rate and have, you know, the convenience of water and electric, you can. Okay, now this is my site right here. What I like about it, it's very private, got a nice deal there. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, beautiful view. I'll show you the view. I kind of pan around here. That's why I pick it every time I come here, if it's open. Is it open every time I come here? No. But anyway, see all around how pretty that is? And in the morning, the sun comes up the direction I'm facing, right there over that big hill, big mountain. And so we'll go back around here. This is the direction towards uh, Ridoso. So uh, we'll go on now. This is site number 15 right here. I heard that noise that somebody digging with a shovel. I thought I was being attacked. Anyway, there's more down here. Let's go up there. Try to get rid of some of these gnats. Okay, there's site number 16 right there. It has no hookups at number 16. There's some wa there's a water spigot here that you could probably get drinking water from. Site number 17, you share that water spigot. This is kind of a pull through here which is nice. And if you're dry camping, great spot. Good view, private, look at your view. Perfect, huh? Yeah, good views all in this area. Now, now this road to my, on the left side here goes to the tent sites. We'll go there in a minute. Because there's a couple more sites here. This is a back end site, tent site primarily, but that's site number uh, 18, is that right? Uh, I'm not sure about that, we'll have to check. I think that's site number 18 because, it, yeah, this is 19 here, so that makes sense, doesn't it? This site here I often thought was a really good sp spot because it's on a cul-de-sac, so to speak. Got a lot of privacy here. You, know, you can park your vehicle so your tent is, you know, private and so forth. Yeah, you can take a shower right out here. You know, you know, and there's the lava field, beautiful view there of the black lava. And there's, a, there's the gravel site for the tent. I don't know how comfortable that would be, but I'm not a tenter. Uh, got you a little fire ring. All of them have fire rings. And uh, let me pause for the cause here to kind of rest my arm a little bit. But yeah, look at the view, guys. Unbelievable. And this uh, right up here, this mount, uh, hill here on the left, see that right there coming into view? That right there, there's a pathway up to it on the other side, and there's a, uh, it's a lookout over the whole area. And it's kind of neat to go up there in the evenings and have a cold beer or something. Do other. It's pretty. I go up there every now and then. Anyway, let's go. We'll turn out of the sun here in just a second. Valley of the Fires near Carrizozo, New Mexico. Elevation about 4,300 feet here. I think Carrizozo is about 4,100 feet. Elevation, summertime, uh, pretty warm sometimes. Uh, right now the temperature is probably 65. This is July the 26th or 7th. And then we go down down the hill to the, the tent sites. Got a lot, got several tent sites. They have water down here, no electric, and they have the old, uh, what do you call them, the old toilets, you know what I mean? Like vault toilets, yeah, vault, vault toilets. And for those of you that come in in a motorhome or a big RV and you make a mistake, uh, you can turn around here. 
and you can turn a big RV and a big fifth wheel right here. There's a big loop here because you're not supposed to take your RVs into the tent area. It says tent camping area, no motorhomes or trailers allowed. Uh, have I ever camped down here? Yeah, I camped in the Prius, the Toyota Prius. It says one-way traffic. A lot of people don't notice that. And you'll probably, sometimes you'll meet cars coming the other way. But moving on here. Yes, I have stayed in this area, not in a tent, but I did in a Toyota Prius a few times, a couple of times probably. And also in my pickup with a camper top, I did that. But you can see how the lava flow back, backs up to these sites. There's a huge wall of black lava there. But there is water available here, so you don't have to just go without. You can take showers and stuff down here if you choose to. But the showers are available to anybody that's camping. That's site number 21, I forgot to give you. So the one by, by, before it obviously is 20. The, up on the hill is number 19. The, the uh, site that we uh, just left. Anyway, 22 is right here. Notice the black lava. Tent site, trash can, barbecue grill, everything you need. And uh, another one of those amazing toilets here on the left. So they got two of those toilets down here. A little chipmunk running across the road, no additional charge. This is site number 23, and we're just about to run out of sites here now, guys. Yeah, the tent sites are pretty simple, but they're pretty well spaced. Yeah, site number 24's got water right there, fire ring, tent, tent pad, I guess you'd call it. Here's another water receptacle right here. And here's another tent site. Now, this is a pretty private one here, number 25, uh, but you're not going to get a lot of wind in there either. Yeah, so tent, see he's got his tent jammed in there. I think there's another one up here, I'm not sure. Maybe not. We may, we may be out of the tent sites now. But this just makes a loop on around and goes by a, see how tall it the lava rock is? It really piled up here. It, it, this used to be a trail. You could go walking out there in the lava, but they've closed it for some reason. I don't know why, don't, don't ask. Anyway, so here we go up the hill here. And I'll get over here by this little pavilion. This is for, you know, if you wanted to have a group uh, picnic or party or something, you can come here and rent this thing. Yeah, they got three or four fire pits, a uh, restroom convenient. And, uh, yeah, it says use of firearms and fireworks prohibited. Look at that bird. Pretty trees. I think, no, that's not an aspen. I thought it was, but it's not. Really quiet here, guys. But I'm talking because I'm telling you about the park. Yeah, those old vault toilets. Those things really are okay. I mean, they, they don't stink. You would think the odor would gag you, but it doesn't. I don't know what they put in it, but it's got to be powerful. So now we'll head back to my campsite and I'll end the video. We'll just kind of take a drive now. Pan around here a little bit. You're about three miles from the little town of Carrizozo, about a thousand people. They have a dollar store there, a couple of gas stations, a pizza place called, I want to say Rosie's Pizza. Uh, good pizza. You got a restaurant called uh, Four Winds, I think. I could be wrong on that. But yeah, there's some places to eat. Uh, a couple of gas stations to gas up. And it's the gasoline in this, in Carrizoza, is cheaper than most areas, most towns around here. You can, uh, from here to Capitan, New Mexico, it's 20 miles to the east and uh, to the northeast, or excuse me, to the southeast is uh, Ruidoso about 30 miles. They got a Walmart, all kind of stuff at uh, Rodoso. Birds. Those are field arcs. Oops, I'm, show I'm showing you the sky. I'll let you look at that view. That's west. That's pointing west.
I like this tracking, baby. I do old track men digs this. Why? Well, because it's cool, and uh, yeah, you know, I can cruise along and, and, and uh, enjoy myself. And the gnats don't get on me, but as soon as I slow down or stop, here they come. <clears throat> They're only, the, the cedar gnats are only here or bother you during periods of uh, when the uh, wind is lower than 10 miles an hour. After above 10 miles an hour, they don't bother you at all. And usually, I, I've called, I used, I've nicknamed this place the wind tunnel. Why? Because most of the time the wind is blowing. I mean, really blowing. Well, we're back to my site now, guys. So we'll pull up here and end the video. So there's my little casita. You know, and whenever I'm out like this and doing these things, I think, do I really want to build a cabin? Man, I'm telling you, that is a, that's what you call the horns of a dilemma, you know. Let's park right here. That's good enough. Lock it up so it doesn't roll away. All right. It's got a parking brake on the trike. But anyway, guys, from Valley of Fires, now you've seen the whole thing, guys. This is up on the hill here where I am. You can see how much of a hill it is when you look down that way. But it's nice here. Yeah, at night you don't need an AC, at least I don't. I mean, it'll, it'll get down into the low 60s, and it's very comfortable in the RV. But anyway, guys, there's my sitting spot with my rocking chair there. But anyway, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products. I appreciate it. Drink plenty of water. Take deep breaths. Stretch, walk. Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. You know the drill, guys. Well, anyway, um, for those of you that may be coming out this way, I hope that helps you. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.